Hey everybody, Jay here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we got a fun video for you today. Uh, what we are going to do, uh, we've had this outdoor boiler now for four years. Uh, and some, this is something I've been meaning to do from the beginning, but I never got around to it. But anyways, the temperature readout is right here on the side of the machine, but we're about 75 feet from the house. So in this video, we are going to plumb in an inline temperature sensor uh, inside the house in the basement to give me a readout of the water temperature uh, of this machine. What that's gonna do, long story short, it's gonna allow me to look at the gauge from the comfort of my home inside and know exactly what this machine is doing out here. So let's go ahead, bring you guys downstairs to the bench and we'll get right to it. This is what we bought from Central Boiler. So this is just a temperature sensor and this is a little readout display. You put, I think it's a AAA battery in there. I'm not sure, I haven't really dug too far into it. But anyways, you plumb this in on your supply line and then that this will give you a temperature readout, which will probably be uh, a degree or two different from what the machine says, but that's that. What, how we're gonna do this, and I'll show you in a second, is um, we're gonna add in this T fitting here. So we have an inch and a quarter nipple here. We have an inch and a quarter T fitting here. And then we have reducers down to this sensor is um, quarter uh, eighth of an inch. So it'll basically sit like that. And then it'll read our, it'll give us a temperature readout. And we could run this anywhere in the house. We can pop it up through the floor and to the wall somewhere. I don't know where I'm gonna put that, put it yet, but I'll deal with that after. So anyways, this is what we got going on. So basically, um, we have a plate heat exchanger for all you plumbers. So our hot water comes in from the boiler and runs through a heat exchanger. But we're basically going to add this in. The PEX tubing where the indoor boiler comes in is going to thread into this top here. And then our sensor will be there. So we'll have a direct feed from... We'll have a direct temperature reading from the water running from the boiler underground through the house there. So there'd be a couple degree drop down, but I'm curious to see what uh, it'll read out. So that's what we got going on today. So we're going to get this all taped up and then uh, we're going to go uh, install it. So this is the setup here. Sorry about the light, but this is our supply line that runs in, uh, runs through our plate style heat exchanger. And then obviously it's tied into the existing boiler system, hot water, but what we're gonna do or attempt to do is thread this in right here. So basically we're gonna move this up about four inches and thread this in. We should have enough slack in our line. We'll have to see about that. Uh, hopefully we do. But anyways, we're gonna try attempt to plumb this in and uh, so we get a temperature readout. So let's go make a mess and undo all this. I hope once you know I cut this pex, there's no going back. We have to figure this out. So we got our drain bucket, our little snippy dippies. So here we go. I don't know how level that cut is. Wow, that cuts like butter, actually. Wow, here we go. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, Christ. Not bad, eh? <laughs> this is a nightmare. There you have it, folks. A lot of time spent getting that one fitting off. So let's go ahead and put it all together on the bench. We're going to cut our pecs back and then... Uh, be able to boogie all right so start we are going to uh put some pipe thread tape the people the folks down at frank w webb um 
said that this was some good stuff. This is uh, Blue Monster pipe tape. I'm not sure. Uh, you get those cheapy white ones at Home Depot, but they said this one should hold up uh, a lot better. Anyways, um, let me think about the way this threads in. So we need to go this way. All right, I think that should be enough. Water scares me, I don't want water to leak. So let's go ahead and set this up in the vise and we'll tighten it down. All right, so this is what we had, but this ovaled out from the absolute crazy amount of torque I had to put in it. Hopefully, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it got ovaled. So we bounced around to 17 different uh, supply places and this is what they came. This is what they gave me. doesn't have the nut here, so I'm not a super fan of it, but it's going to be freezing temperatures in a few days. So I got to get this back together. So let's go ahead and tape this up, thread this back on, bring the whole unit over and we'll go ahead and install it. So this is the final unit. Obviously, this is where your intake is. This threads on to the old existing one and a quarter T and then our sensors in here. So let's go ahead and uh, thread this on and uh, pray to God it doesn't leak. All right, so hopefully you can see the light's not too bad, but we got the T plumbed in. We're gonna reconnect connect this PEX. I had to take off this little insert here. The sensor's gonna come out over here. I did it over here so it'd be protected um, just by you know walking in and out. I didn't, I didn't wanna break anything off or whatnot. So let's go ahead and put the rest of it together and then uh, see if it works. All right, so now that this is in, this is where our sensor's gonna be. We're gonna push this PEX back up, heat it up, slide it over, put the clamps on, put our sensor in, run that to where we're going upstairs, and then we'll be good. All right, so after a lot of heat with the uh, Hair dryer. We got this PEX heated up, slid over, two band clamps tightened to all hell. We're gonna put the sensor in, we're gonna run that upstairs to the bedroom, and then uh, that should do it. So, this is pretty much it. We have the sensor in there. Uh, just make sure it's. Yeah, it's pretty snug. Um, we got that sensor in there. This is all set and done. This is taking me days to do this. So, we're gonna run the sensor up to the bedroom, and then uh, that should do it. So what I did, again, sorry for the terrible lighting, I ran the sensor wire up and I am running it all the way down. Obviously it'll tighten it up. It's just kind of loose now. I'm running it over here behind the oil tank. And then, uh, as you can see, way up in there, I drilled a little hole, dropped down an alligator clip and I'll, uh, I'll pull, it through the, uh, pull it through the floor and then the sensor will be right next to the bed. So I know the lighting is bad, but we drilled a hole in the floor. We came up and here is our sensor. We got the outdoor boiler on it right now. So this reads 167.6 degrees. Um, I'll show you in a second, but it's eight degrees off. So it's eight degrees hotter at the outdoor uh, wood boiler. So let's go out there and uh, just check that just to uh, verify. I made a little sticky note here. So uh, I remember plus eight. So 167 plus eight, uh, that should be 175. All right, so we're walking back out to the machine now. Let's see, uh, machine's at a buck 75. All right, so anyways, um, just to recap real quick, if I could go back and do this again, I probably wouldn't. Um, I know I edited a lot of things out, but I went back and forth to Frank W. Webb uh, Bath Centers there, plumbing outfitters, whatever you want to call it, and Home Depot uh, probably six times. I had to buy a pipe wrench. I had to buy a, a big adjustable wrench. I needed to get a new torch. Just It was a nightmare. Um, <laughs> that's what happens when you try to do everything yourself. I'm not a plumber, but um, 
I guess it was worth it. I learned. At least I know how to do it now and I have the tools. So I, it was a little bit of a, this was probably one of the toughest projects. It may look simple and it may look simple in the video, but this is one of the toughest projects uh, I've done for me outside of my uh, comfort zone. So anyways, um, that's that. The next video, uh, it's running right now, but we're going to show you the initial startup on uh, one of these outdoor boilers. So thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think. This is going to be... Uh, this is going to make it easier for me, especially in the dead of winter when it's negative degrees out. Uh, I can go to the side of the bed there and I can know exactly what the machine is doing. Plus, you know, uh, I know exactly how hot that machine is according to my gauge. So this is just going to save a lot of time and energy. So I appreciate you guys watching. Hit that thumbs up. Uh, sorry to ramble and uh, hope you enjoyed. We'll see you in the next one.